guys, it's Vlogmas Day 5 and it's a Saturday. I failed and I didn't do Vlogmas Day 4 because it was a very busy day at work and I was just didn't even think about doing a Vlogmas or filming at all. And then the next time I thought about it, it was too late. So, failed on Vlogmas Day 4, didn't even make it through the first week, but I'm gonna try again today for Vlogmas Day 5. Ben and I, wait, I need to catch my breath. Am I getting Corona? Ben and I are going to go to get a Christmas wreath from Michael's because my goal today is to do the outdoor decorations. Not gonna do anything crazy, but I want my Christmas wreath on my front door. And then I got some garland to go around the front door. And then in the back, I have snowflake lights that I'm gonna string along the patio. And that's about it. And then I'll be all done with my Christmas decorations. But yeah, we're gonna go to Michael's now. And maybe I'm gonna stop at Bed Bath & Beyond. Bed Bath & Beyond? Bath & Body Works. I always get them mixed up. I'm gonna start, I can't speak. I'm having a stroke. I'm gonna stop at Bath & Body Works to get some hand soap because I realized mine has run out and I'm gonna get some festive Christmas scents. So yeah, that is my plan for today. Are you ready, Ben? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Ben and I are back now. We didn't end up going to Michael's because we actually stopped at Lowe's and I found everything I needed at Lowe's. So, didn't go to Michael's, but we're back now. And we're getting ready to decorate the front of our house. There's the wreath. <laughs> that we're gonna put on the door. It's kind of big, but I like that it was pre-lit and I don't need like to plug it in or anything because it's battery operated. So that's gonna go on our door. stringing up the snowflakes on the back porch. Looking pretty good. It's later on now. Ben and I have had a whirlwind of a day. Not really. That makes it sound dramatic. But after we put up the Christmas decorations, I found um, two pre-lit fake Christmas trees for um, the front porch online at Bed Bath & Beyond and they were on sale for a really good price plus I had a coupon. So, much to Ben's chagrin, I <laughs> um, took back those two little Christmas trees that I had up front because I got those at Lowe's and they were real. And I returned those and I got the fake ones from Bed Bath & Beyond. We still have to put those up but I'll probably do that tomorrow. So Ben and I did that, and then we picked up some hibachi, which we've already ate. I got steak hibachi. Ben got chicken teriyaki and salmon. And it's pretty good, but we ate it already. And now we're watching Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, which I've never seen. I've only seen the original Home Alone. But so far, it's basically the same exact movie, but under different circumstances, and he's in New York. <laughs> I don't know, I like the original Home Alone, so so far I'm not liking Home Alone 2. I do like the fact that it's based in New York, because New York's Christmassy at Christmas time. But, I just like the original. I'm an originalist, like Amy Coney Barrett. <laughs> JK, I'm not an originalist. <laughs> I'm just an originalist when it comes to Christmas movies. Do you know what an originalist means? No, I'm pretty sure you just made that word up. No, I didn't. I believe she the word you're looking it. for is traditionalist. Oh. In constitutional law, originalist is a position that you can take. 
Amy Coney Barrett identifies as an originalist. So does, um, what's the name of the judge? Scalia. So does Scalia. Anyway, it just means that they interpret the Constitution as it was written at the time it was written. They don't add any, they don't like, um, interpret it with the times that we're in now. Anyway, I'm an originalist when it comes to Christmas movies. <laughs> and we're going to continue watching this and I'll let you know what I think when it's over. I got myself a glass of wine. What's the name of this wine? My brother Joe told me it's a wine that Taylor Swift and Ellen DeGeneres drank. It's called Sancerre, I think. Something like that. Sincere? I think it keeps popping in my freaking head. It's Sacconi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's called Sancerre. It's pretty good. Um. Oh, here's a scary old person. I'm mean, gonna be honest with you, I paid $20 for this and I wouldn't pay $20 for it again. I would pay $10 for my Pinot Grigio that I usually get when it's on sale. <laughs> I forget what it's called, it's some Italian Pinot Grigio. I don't, I can't really tell the difference between the two. Um, and I kind of like the Italian one better. So, anyway, just thought I'd fill you in on what's going on gonna continue this movie oh he's in central park now he's gonna get lost there to be continued hi guys it's vlogmas day six and it's a sunday i'm going to go over to my parents today and make some gingerbread cookies um but i also want to put up the little christmas trees that i got yesterday from bed bath and beyond in front of my house so i'm gonna do that now finished product do you care if you're in my vlog Mom? <laughs> okay I am about to make some gingerbread cookies now I got all my ingredients took a trip to Walmart it was horrible major regrets but I'm making my cookies now My mom's making me pull my hair back, so be right back. Do you have a hair tie for me? Pulling my hair back. I can continue on. Ben said to bring him some dough back because he makes it raw. What? Yeah. Oh, there's no eggs in it, so I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Uh-oh, I just opened the new Crisco. That's, that's First step is one cup of shortening, aka Crisco. Wow, this one's not gonna fit. To to measure the Crisco. What? It's better to do it in that metal thing. is really right but we mix I added a half cup of water I don't know if I said that already and now I Does 
that mean baking tonight? Three teaspoons of ginger. One. A half teaspoon nutmeg. Then I mix that up with a whisk. Then pour it in a cup at a time. It's gonna get pretty thick. There it is, wrapped in a saran wrap, and I split it up into two bowls. Has to chill in the fridge for two to three hours. I'm probably only gonna do two hours. Or maybe I'll just wait till after dinner. I don't know. It's four o'clock right now. We'll see where the night takes us. It's later on now. I'm sitting on the couch next to the fire. Just wanted to show you because it's super cozy and Christmassy. There's the far. It is a Warren. And then my mom has her Christmas decorations up there. And the Christmas tree there. Time to eat now. <laughs> my mom made crab cakes right there. Got the Christmassy plates out. I need some crab cakes. It's time for me to make my cookie cutouts. So that's what I'm doing. I'm in my car now and I'm back home from my parents' house. It's about 11.20 and I'm gonna get ready to go to bed now. But I just thought I'd show you how our Christmas lights turned out outside. Here they are. The finished product. Did I just drop something? I don't know. Got my cookies with me? And I'm gonna go up to bed. Don't go in there. Nope, 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 nope. No. Hey, hey. What? Hmm. What? Come on. So I made Ben's family's gingerbread cookie recipe, which Jen, Jen <laughs> which Ben really likes. Personally like it. I've tried to convince myself to like it, but I think I just don't like gingerbread cookies. So he's gonna try one now. I don't think they turned out like he usually makes them. They don't smell good. I don't know. They smell burnt. I don't know what I did. Maybe you picked the burned one. Some are more burned than others. I did them less than the recipe said to make them. Oh, 
They're all burnt. Maybe I just made them too thin. What's it smell like? Good. Looks gonna put that back to you. <laughs>